So we are trying to find a harness to fit Little Willow. And we're going to unlikely be successful at this point because she's so small. And you can see she's got her puppy zoomies. Good girl! <laughs> and so I'm just lifting up. I have treats in my hand, so the, I need to slip her head through here. Good! So I'm going to go treat her nose while I go over her head. Let her have the nipples. Good job. I'm going to come under here. Let's see if you can see. I'm going to pop a few on the ground here. You can also use something sticky. She's like, where? Where? Look at her lower here. Like sticky almond butter. Which would be a, probably a better one for that, because now she's done. And then we'll go snap. Good girl, treats. All right, let's see. So we don't have a perfect fit yet, but we're getting there. So when you're trying to fit your harness, what you want to do is you want to be able to get two women's fingers under all points but not more. So you see, I don't know if you can see how I can get my whole hand in here. So that's what tells me it's too loose at this point. So if you're taking her out and about in it, you just want to be extra cautious. But in the house, I think we'll be fine. And I would never leave unsupervised. I don't leave puppies unsupervised with anything on. Usually they need to go naked. Good girl. But I'm just keeping her focused over here with treats. Good job. Should we try to wear that today? Now the tags, I might only put on when you go for an, at this stage, possibly only when you go out, just to see if she's going to eat them. <laughs> Good girl! Good girl, they might be too, we'll just see. They do have silence tag, tag things too. Put them on leash. Yeah, yeah, that's another good one. So, see, she's like, where is it, where is it? Stop that. Next, how do we get this harness on our puppy and leash when they're a goofy puppy? So we want to teach them to be, again, relaxed and settled. Good like that. Good job when we do these things. So it's about being patient. So when you want to set out to use your harness and leash and go outside for an outing, you want to think about putting this on as part of your time in that adventure. So if I was planning a 20-minute adventure with Miss Willow, my 20 minutes would start here so that I don't feel rushed. And the more you do that, the more it's going to be easier to do this and get out the door. You can also work on just putting the harness and leash on and just going out for a quick potty and not doing a big adventure. Or just putting the harness and leash, I thought I was going to treat you. <laughs> or just putting the harness and leash on and just walking around your house. Because what that's going to do is desensitize them that this doesn't always mean excitement, excitement. Because the more this is on and you just go out and hang out, the more that this isn't so exciting and so rambunctious. As you see, I'm just feeding Willow her rewards for being here and being calm and sitting while I'm holding this harness. So we're just starting there. Good job. I'm not telling her no, not telling her off, I'm not telling her any other feedback. Just calm puppy gets things. Jumping up does not. Sitting off my lap does. So her harness, her head's going to go through here, and then the leg's going to go through here. They're all going to fit differently. I'm going to put the food through the hole so that I'm helping lure her through, and I want to have lots of little rewards ready so that we can go through the steps. So again, jumping puppy, we ignore that. Sitting puppy, being patient, we reward that. These food treats are healthy and part of her daily nutritional needs, so they're not just extras. We're not giving those sticker bars. So ignore that puppy. Food's here. We're going to go through here and then slip over her head. Good job. Flip those ears. Good job. And I'm just rewarding along the way. Good girl. Ignore that puppy. Good girl. And I go. She ended up getting, there we go. She got her leg in there all by herself. I'm going to feed here. Take this strap under her leg. I'll toss a couple of treats down by her nose to nibble. So she's down there nibbling and snap. 
and I can go right there. If your puppy is new to wearing harnesses, then you can stop there and you can just reward and we can move around to help her not chew on that harness. Right? Okay. We'll ignore jumping puppy. And we can just walk around. I'll just smack my lips to encourage her to come over here. Good girl. Jumpy puppy, ignore. But on the ground, we'll give her a reward. Over here. Good. Reward that. Come over here. Okay. Good girl. Reward that. You see how she's flicking around at the harness? She's just getting used to it. So I just want to kind of reward often. And they're super teeny. I'm just giving her little shreds. That's why she's going back to the floor licking. She's getting those extra shreds. Gonna walk this way. Okay. And my okay is always my release, telling the dog it's okay to move. That's an encouraging word I use. Okay. Good girl. And this is the start of loose leash walking because you're teaching them to hang out with you and walk around with you. This way. Good girl. And I'm rewarding her before she jumps. So good girl. Good girl. And just rewarding her to be by, by me. choose not to jump. I think you did. <laughs> Good. What a pretty girl you are. You want to come over here? Okay. Come over here. Good girl. So not only is this working on her getting used to her harness, loose leash walking because she's learning to hang out with me. It's also working on polite greeting and come when called because she's coming towards me and getting a reward. She's rolling around because of the harness. So we'll get her really focus. Okay. I don't leave equipment on without being supervised, so I would not leave her harness on and have her roaming around the house because they can get tangled up and they can eat their harnesses. Good job! I'll ignore jumping puppy. Okay. And then we can go and attach the leash. Whoa. Puppy. So, polite dog is there. Good girl. Grab the leash. And every time she goes to grab it or does do something silly, that's when I stop or refocus her. <laughs> I'll wait for that paw to go off my lap. I know it's super cute. Sometimes it's hard. I can help by moving my leg if I want. Good. <laughs> and then we'll treat here. And we'll do a little snap here. Chewing on the leash is very common <laughs> for puppies because they're attached to something. We want to try to keep that away from the front of her face and we want to try to keep that loose so that we can kind of not entice her to grab it. So I'm going to have to lift it and find it down here. So I'm going to try to keep it behind her instead of in front of her. This way. Good girl. And it's hard, especially with our little dogs. This way. Well, good girl. Oh, did you see that waggle? That means mom was working on the name game this week. Well, good girl. Oh. <laughs> good job. This way. Okay. Good girl. And I can reward her on one side if I want to encourage her to be more on one side than the other so she doesn't do too much flip-flopping. So I'll just encourage her to be on my left side, but it can be any side that you're comfortable with. So with Willow, we're going to work on kind of hanging out on the left side. With, with my guy Dexter, we do the right side just because it's more convenient for me and him. There's no rules. Whatever you want. Hanging out with you, not having a tight leash. Good girl. And we're just getting her comfortable moving around in the house without all the distractions. Okay. Good girl. Jumpy puppy means I suck. 
polite puppy means we continue. Okay. Reward for jumping up. <laughs> so there's that little bit of that leash grabbing and I just stop. And short and sweet. And that's where I would start. So practice this week putting on their harnesses, putting on their leashes, walking around your living room, rewarding often.